They waited and waited here at Crestform Industries, the manufacturers of Crestform mattresses, to see the remains of their deceased relatives who were smoked to ashes by the blazing fires that gutted the industry and brought it down on Monday. Indeed, there were long hours of endurance and as these relatives braved under the scorching sun, the ire sounds of the inferno were no more. The management of Crestform here had refused relatives of the deceased to access the premises and obtain information about the death of their dear ones. The scaffold ensued, involving a journalist who also was in dear need of the information. He said he can kill me. Hey, how can he say he can kill me? Let him apologize. If he's your guard, he has servant. What we've learned is because of factory okay, company negligence. They could not put enough uh, enough material to support or to alert the staff of the fire. That's why when these people were attacked with the fire, they could not be alerted at, at a go. The relatives now are joined by their area MP Jacob Oboth Oboth of Budama West. He faulted Crestform Management's handling the situation and demanded that Crestform listens to the demands of the relatives of the deceased. As we shall allow you in. We want to know why is it taking long for, for, for the management and the police to retrieve the bodies. Uh, the relatives have been here, they spent a whole night here and uh, some are being told that the bodies were taken to Morago. Some are being told that the bodies are still here. We want to know why. The prayers were finally answered as police succeeded in retrieving exercises of the six remains, but identifying their relatives was difficult and option for a DNA test was crucial. The bodies were later transferred to Mulago Hospital. We told the relatives, we'll guide them, we'll move with them to Mulago Hospital and ensure that we expedite the process of DNA. We had a meeting with the management to ensure that after the bodies have been analyzed and the rightful identities identified, we will proceed to request or to solicit support from management for the factory to ensure that the bodies are taken for to decent burial. The Minister for Disaster and Preparedness, Hilary Onek, has also made immediate calls for interrogations by police into the cause of the fires. The manager in charge. There must be a technical person who manages the factory here. The people who authorize that welding to take place. They must immediately be taken and given, they must be given a statement as to what happened, why, what decision, what kind of uh, re renovation, what kind of welding is happening. Oyo Gerald, Joseph Oboth Owazo, Soka Cyrus, Ofono Ofono, Charles Owere, all from Jabadola tribe Tororo district and a driver only identified as Mulindwa from Kayunga district are the six who perished in the blazing fires at Crest Farm Industries. Although the bodies have been taken to the mortuary, relatives and friends still want and demand the management of this company to come out clearly and explain what led to the death of their dear ones, although they are still in hiding and none of them can be found on ground. Zamzam Siraj, WBS News, Kampala.